Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to draw a six-fold geometry pattern. By six-fold geometry pattern, we mean those geometry patterns in which you can identify either of these two six-point stars. So the pattern I have chosen for you is this one. In order to draw this pattern, you will need very simple tools. They are a pencil, an ordinary one, a pen in case you want to have um, the lines be very bold, an eraser in order to erase your mistakes, a ruler, it can be any kind of ruler, tracing papers, if you want to transfer your final pattern into a watercolor paper or any kind of surface. Tape. Also, you will need to print out one of these sheets which have been uh, sent to you uh, uh, in the links provided in the website. These um, sheets, they are isometric grids in three different scales. Depending on which scale you are starting from, you will end up with different sizes of pattern. The pattern that you can see here that I have for you, it is based on this uh, medium size scale. If you want to start from the very small scale, you will end up with patterns like this, okay? So technically these two patterns, they are the same, but the difference is the first is the scale and the secondly it is the way that we have colored them. Okay, in order to teach you how to draw that, I'm going to start with the large scale so it is more visible for you. Uh, have your uh, grid in a landscape shape and I'm going to place this uh, pattern in, by my side so you can just identify which point we are starting from. I'm using my pen so you can see everything. I'm, I'm just marking the intersection and this intersection, the first point would be the top part of our star, the green star that we have here. The only thing that you need to do is that is to identify how these lines shape the stars on the grid. So if we just move down along the grid for one unit, meaning from one intersection to the second to the next one and then we are doing it for the other side so this is this one is one point of our six point star okay it's the top point so the next step would be just put the ruler horizontally and coming to the sides uh, to reach to the next uh, intersection. So this is the, this is going to be the top part of our star. So the rest of the drawing would be just moving along the grids, okay? So the half part of our star is popping up. And uh, the rest is just tracing over the grids. Once you are done with the star, you will see from this pattern, the colored one, that around the star there are six hexagons. So the only thing is that we just trace over the grid to make this um, hexagons. I'm going to do the first one, as you can see it here. So two sides have, have been already traced over. So I'm just going to trace over the, the other lines and you see this is one hexagon on the side. So the, the, the next steps would be to just identify the rest five, okay? So just follow me the way that I am doing it. So you see that we have all these five hexagons uh, at the corners. If going back to this pattern, you see that between each of these two hexagons, there is a boat shape part popping up. And here 
and the grid so the bottom part of that boat is identifiable so you, you can see it basically so the only thing is that to just continue the lines the side lines of the hexagon one unit okay going up and then connecting them together so this boat shape it is popping up we are going to do it for the other sides between each of these two hexagons Okay, you see here that we have six boat shapes and the only remaining part would be these rhombus at the corners. So just continue the lines of the kites from both sides and you will end up having your rhombus. Okay, so if you go, I, uh, go back to uh, the colored pattern, compare these two ones together, you, you will see that the only thing is that to just repeat whatever that we did and starting from this point. This point would be exactly this point, the other side of the rhombus. So this rhombus is something which is sharing between two hexagons and it is going to be repeated. The only part that you need to be a little bit careful about is this small, uh, or let's say a bigger triangle here, which is close, or it is attached actually to this uh, kite shape here. So I'm just uh, doing this for you. You see, we have a big, kind of big triangle here. And around this triangle, we have like three uh, boat shape with three rhombus. So here, two of the rhombus has been pops up, popped up. Uh, we have a kite. So the other two kites and the remaining rhombus, you're going to draw them. Okay, so once you have this part uh, drawn, the bottom part is just the mirror of that. So comparing these two together, you see? So the bottom part is the mirror of the upper side. So the only thing is, uh, to, is needed to be done is to just draw everything and just moving along and just filling up the, the, the sheet that we have. Uh, I have actually done it previously you see that we have like two of these patterns together and two of these triangle shaped okay has been drawn and because the limitation the boundaries of my paper i couldn't actually uh, go further but uh, if you start from a very small scale you might be able to have more of these shapes once you are done in order to do the transfer you put a tracing paper over your pattern okay and then you, let me just do it like that. And then you tape it down. Okay, so you make sure that it doesn't move. I'm just uh, putting a tape here. And then with the help of your ruler and uh, your pencil, you're tracing over all of your construction lines, right? The, the pattern lines basically, okay? You're just uh, doing it all at once. So it's like, you know, these shapes. Once you are done with your pattern, you take off the tracing paper. Okay, I'm just, I'm not just moving it. Like I just want to teach you how to do that. You are removing the tracing paper. You grab your final paper. So it can be like a watercolor paper. You flip it. Okay, you flip the tracing paper so that the marks, you're attaching your paper. You tape it down again and with the help of your nail, it can be just your nail or like your, uh, the edge of, edges of your ruler 
or in simple teaspoon or a tablespoon. You just uh, rubbing over all of these traces. So your final uh, pattern will be traced on your paper. And then you, you will be able to color that. I hope that you have enjoyed drawing this pattern and coloring it at the end.